everyone, Julie here from Women of the Rose Healing Arts with our weekly book review. Uh, last week I got a little crazy so I didn't do one, but I wanted to do one for you this week. So in my journey of learning about um, energy and energy systems, I was very intrigued with the chakra system. And in Carolyn Meese's work, Sacred Contracts, and also in her Anatomy of the Spirit, which I'll be reviewing um, at a later date, she really kind of talks about the human energy system as being almost like an entire other uh, system of our bodies, like a skeletal system or a muscular system or a nervous system that exists in the space around us, right? And we send out this energy um, and we have this aura, this field around us. So. When she started talking about chakras, I wanted to learn more, so I went to the authority, or who I consider the authority on chakras, and that's An Anodia Judith. So I read her Wheels of Life, um, which was extremely intriguing, and you learn all about the different chakras and their, their spiritual aspects and their physical aspects. But then she has another book, which, which is the one I wanna share with you today, called Eastern Body, Western Mind. That's this one here. And this book, as you can see, it's a hefty volume, and it's, Fantastic because it takes the principles of Eastern medicine and Eastern understanding of the human energetic system and it applies it to the psychology aspect that we have here in Western medicine. So if you want to understand why you have wounds in relationships or why you even are manifesting physical disease, like this is kind of the book I think is a go-to for that. So in this, in, in this, volume. She goes through each of the chakras um, and she goes through them as if we were in our development as a human being. So from birth, she, she starts with from birth to about 18 to 20 years when we go out on our own. And in each of those kind of um, time periods in our lives, so like birth to two, two to four, five to seven, she kind of goes through how each of our chakras are beginning to be developed until we reach the point of being uh, free to be our own individuals, to go out on our own. And then we start and repeat that cycle all over again and we develop our and mature our chakras even further. So um, if, for example, she talks about how human beings when they're born, their first chakra, which is the chakra of survival and like physical security is the one that they are developing at that time. And that is because you are in the safety and of or you should be in the safety of your environment, and you're completely dependent on others for your physical safety and security. Now, if you take that same concept and you apply it to when you leave your home and you're out on your own for the first time, we have issues again with physical security, making sure that we are safe, making sure that we are financially stable, um, and all of those kinds of issues tend to come up again. And then we progress as we age, we progress and we grow through the rest of the, the chakras. So this is a fantastic, book if you're looking for a connection between the physical, medical, psychological side of Western medicine that we live here with in, in, in America and we've grown with, and incorporating then the Eastern understanding of our energetic system and our spirit and kind of merging those two together to get a deeper and more meaningful understanding of yourself, what stage you are at in your own chakra development and what's what issues may come up and why those issues come up. So it is a hefty volume. It is not an easy read. It is a long read, but it is well worth it. And if it's something that you even just keep in your library as a reference book, like I highly, highly, highly recommend this one. Thank you so much, guys. Come back soon for another book review on our Thursdays. Love and light always. Bye-bye now.